Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars Month and today we are having a look at Battlefront 2. If you remember Battlefront, it was a pretty awesome game at the time. Uh, it basically was the Star Wars version of Battlefield. Basically it took you to uh, all of the uh, major sort of battlefronts in the game, in the, well not in the game, in the, uh, the uh, Star Wars movie universe uh, throughout all the prequels and all the original trilogies as well. It's a pretty cool game, it was uh, again a third or first person shooter. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting, I mean it was basically just a Battlefield clone and it's ironic that Battlefront 3 finally getting developed. Hope, we hope, we hope, we can, we can, we can hold out hope for Battlefront. Battlefront 3, uh, being developed by DICE, who of course uh, developed the Battlefield series, so it's kind of ironic that the Battlefield clone is being developed by the developers of Battlefield now, but I guess it makes sense, I mean I guess uh, if there's any people you'd want to develop it, it is of course DICE, I mean although they did make a bit of a mess of Battlefield 4 at launch, I have to say. So, but this, this, well, let's focus on Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2, it came out around the same time as Episode 3, I believe. I remember getting it. You got a deal at the time if you bought Episode 3 and Battlefront. You got a discount. That's what I remember when I bought them both together. Pretty nice. Uh, pretty cool game, actually. I mean, again, it's similar. Very, very similar to Battlefield. You basically have... Massive back, massive open battle. You have to capture points. Most of the modes are point captures. Whoever holds the most points wins. But it was a cool game. I mean, it, the shooting mechanics were pretty nice. I mean, it was a pretty nice uh, first or third person shooter. You had the option uh, to play either. Uh, the big thing that Battlefront 2 had over Battlefront 1 was your ability to play as the heroes. Uh, as a hero class, uh, you basically you pick your class. It is a class-based multiplayer. You pick your class. You could have like the rocket trooper. You had like your sniper. Your kind of um, sneaky. Did you have a sneaky one? I think we did as well. Um, and you had your just straight up uh, assault class. And you had your kind of support classes in there as well. But the main thing, the big thing that it let you do is after a certain amount of time or after a certain amount of kills that you got, a certain amount of points you were allowed to spawn as a hero. The hero was dependent on which battle you were in. So whichever ba battle they were in in the movies. For example, on the Battle of Hoth, uh, you got to spawn, if you're playing on the uh, Rebel side, you got to spawn as Luke Skywalker, which is nice. If you're playing on the Empire, you got to spawn as Darth Vader, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, you were a melee class as a lightsaber user. So it was pretty pretty interesting. You got to play as quite a few others. Uh, you got to play as Han Solo as well in the Battle of Endor. That was pretty cool. Uh, you could one-shot most things as Han Solo. So it's pretty awesome. I quite enjoyed this. I mean, again, and it's good news uh, if you're wondering uh, about the game spy shutdown. Apparently, that the multiplayer for Battlefront 2 uh, is going to be saved. It's going to move to another service after May the 31st, because of course, Game Spy closing down May 31st, and uh, if the uh, Battlefront 2 uses Game Spy as its uh, provider, as its multiplayer provider, so again it is going to be saved which is good news because uh, we need a Star Wars uh, multiplayer shooter at the moment, you know we need that, we need something to tide us over for till, until Battlefront 3. So what was this game, what made this game special and it did have two sequel, two well sequels that were in development by two different developers that were cancelled. Uh, so what made this game so special? It was a pretty, a pretty solid uh, shooter. I mean, it was a very solid shooter. It wasn't one of the best shooters ever made, but it was solid enough. It was solid enough to get by. The vehicle combat was pretty nice as well, and getting to play as a Jedi uh, class, a hero class, was pretty awesome. You only got the hero class. Uh, even in multiplayer, one player got to spawn as the hero class. It was limited by time, and you could kill the hero class. It was pretty difficult to kill the hero class but you could spawn as a hero class and you got a limited amount of time and you usually racked up a hell of a lot of kills as a Jedi. It was pretty fun running around the shooter as a melee class, that was kind of different at the time. I remember doing that. Pretty fun game. I remember playing this again, I had this on Xbox Live. Uh, the footage that you're looking at is footage from the PC version. I haven't tried online multiplayer, I might give it a go. Uh, when it migrates to its new service, because I don't really want to install the GameSpy software again. 
never want to install that. I think you have. I think you must have it installed. You need an account at GameSpy to play it. I know that, but we'll wait and see. Wait to see if it migrates. Uh, when it migrates to its new service after May the 31st, uh, which is good news. It's good news. Good we're getting to play some of these old games again. It's, it's kind of sad if they got forgotten about because it was a pretty cool multiplayer game. I remember playing this. This was one of the uh, games that you got Xbox Live for back in the day on the original Xbox. I remember playing <laughs> pretty much solidly in this game. This and Halo 2. That was the, 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 they were they were the two games to get. Battlefront 2, Halo 2 were the two games uh, for Xbox Live and the multiplayer was fun, it was a pretty fun, it was kind of it was pretty well balanced at the time, I mean the maps were huge and seeing uh, the uh, massive uh, battles recreated or you could you could even uh, you know change the outcome of the battles depending on which side you were on, you know you could have the rebels lose and the empire win or you could have the separatists uh, win and the republic lose uh, depending on which era you were in. The other great mode that was in it was Galactic Conquest. That was a really awesome mode. Uh, you basically it was basically like a turn-based kind of game. You moved about, you moved your fleets about the galaxy, and you could engage. You could go to planets uh, and conquer certain planets, or you had to defend certain planets that were under attack from the opposition. I don't think this was in multiplayer. I would have liked to have seen a version in multiplayer. That would have been kind of cool uh, as a kind of server with. Um, you know, with uh, players taking turns, like a kind of strategy game, but then there's a kind of ground war and a space war. Space was the other big thing that it added Battlefront 2. Uh, we could fight in space for the first time. It was pretty awesome, the space battles. Um, I never, never, don't really like them on the PC, that's why I don't have any footage of them, because I'm not very good at steering with a mouse. <laughs> not very good, can't use a controller with this one. Well, I suppose I could, but I really can't be bothered. So, using a mouse and keyboard for a shooter is pretty nice. Very nice. Um, so again, Battlefront 3 is coming out. I hope that they don't mess it up because Battlefront 2, it's a hard act to follow. It really is a hard act to follow and pretty awesome. I still love this game. Having played it again, it, do, it is starting to show its age, I have to say. It is starting to look a little dated. It is 10 years old. Of course, it is nearly 10 years old. It's 10 years old this year, I believe. So again, we do really love this game. It's one of those games that I think it does, I don't think it's underrated. I don't think it's overrated either. I mean, people do love this game. And rightfully so. Rightfully so. It does, again, appear a bit dated. And the PC port wasn't the best, I have to say. Yeah, the port on the PC, not the best. Uh, there's a lot of texture popping and a lot of crashes running on Windows 7, I have to say. After every uh, conquest battle, uh, it tends to crash the desktop sometimes. Sometimes we get the odd crash, sometimes it fails to start. Um, I, the sound was bugged at one point. Um, I don't know how I fixed that actually. I think we, you had to go and enable something in control panel. I can't remember what you had to do. But the PC port was okay. The Xbox, original Xbox port was pretty excellent. Uh, the PS2 port was good as well. I remember playing that. But again, a very good game. And a lot of people... This is the game. This is one of the most popular uh, Star Wars games. And it was the most requested as a sequel. And it's good that EA have listened when they got the rights uh, to Star Wars games uh, from Disney. When Disney gave them the rights to produce these Star Wars games. The, the first game that they announced was Battlefront 3. That is the game we want. That and KOTOR 3, which we're never going to get now with the extended universe uh, thing. We're never going to get KOTOR 3, we're just going to have to accept that. But the thing is, Battlefront 3... The thing is, Battlefront 3 is not canon and it doesn't have to be canon. Because who cares, because it's a multiplayer game, primarily. It doesn't have to be canon, because we can change the outcomes of uh, famous battles in the Star Wars universe. You know, we can conquer the galaxy as the Empire. We can find out what happened. What would have happened if the Empire had won? So again, the maps were pretty huge, I mean that was the big thing about it, was that the maps were awesome. And especially, I think it was a 16 player multiplayer, I can't remember the exact number. But it was pretty cool, there was always bots to keep the match populated. Keep all those matches populated again. Bots couldn't spawn as a hero class, if I remember correctly. It was only the players that could spawn. It was when you hit a certain milestone, if you hit a certain point, there was a sort of little point cap that you could hit. Um, but again, you were limited as the hero class, and it was fun just to slaughter through everything 
They were a bit overpowered, but again, you know, both sides could have a hero class, so I guess it balanced out. It was only one hero class could whirl out in uh, per side, so we couldn't be a <laughs> hundred hand solos running around. That would have been game breaking, I would think. But again, this game is. Again, it's one of those games that you just keep playing. It's so addictive. I, I loved Conquest. Conquest was my favourite. Galactic Conquest of the offline modes. Uh, Mal Online was awesome. I loved just loved jumping into vehicles and getting there and getting killed a lot. <laughs> Shot in the back. Especially when you took on a hero class. If you killed a hero class, it was a great achievement <laughs> to actually kill one of the Jedi classes. Pretty fun. You could gang up and you could take them down if you were coordinated enough, of course. But again, we do love this game. I mean, it is one of the best Star Wars games ever made. Alright, uh, so that's all for this little look at Battlefront 2. Uh, next time, next time we're probably going to take a look at, I think we'll have a look at KOTOR, shall we? Shall we have a little look at KOTOR? I was going to do it, I was thinking either KOTOR or Republic Commando. That's going to be either one. Just finished downloading Republic Commando because I bought the entire Star Wars collection on Steam. So we'll have a little look either KOTOR, we'll look, at, we'll look at both KOTOR games, we'll take them as just one big franchise, we won't look at them individually. We'll take a little look at KOTOR and what made KOTOR so great. So thank you for joining me and don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want a chance uh, to win a hyper crate in Star Wars The Old Republic. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon and goodbye.